All right, everybody. So the video I'm going to do today, I realized I hadn't done much um, telling you about my past and uh, where I came from and who I am. So I figured I would do one about who I am. So my name is Jace Patrick. If you haven't um, caught on to that part yet, that's probably a good place to start. Um, I grew up in a small town in upstate New York. Uh, a lot of people never have heard of it. It's called Cambridge. It's a middle of nowhere, closer to Bennington, Vermont than it is to New York City. So about, what, three, four hours from the city. So, I mean, definitely not a uh, city boy by any means. Um, right after high school, I joined the uh, United States Navy and I was a damage controlman for a, a little while. Um, I was injured while I was in the military. So that led to me being um, transferred out. It kind of was a heartbreaker for me because I was, thought I was gonna be a 20 year person. But, um, so yeah, I got transferred out of the military and um, that's kind of what started my journey of, you know, moving towards the fitness stuff. It took me I'd say two, three years before I figured out what I wanted to do with my life. Um, a lot of what helped was going back to school, um, taking some classes, you know, meeting new people and whatnot, and that brought me back to the fitness journey. But the irony of all that is my best friend since um, preschool um, had actually started getting into shape around our senior year of high school, and he's actually stuck with it since then. So he's been, I mean, we're 28 now. Yeah, I'm going on 29, so he's been doing it for over 10 years consistently. I mean, um, yeah, he's had some like lulls, but never taken more than probably two weeks off of the gym kind of thing. So he's always a good source of inspiration, very knowledgeable guy for me. So the irony is I you know, left, had to meet new people. This guy was trying to get me to go to the gym for years, and then I started going once I moved away from him. So when I moved away from him, what I did was I went to college at the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona. And um, that's when I got really big into the gym. Um, had quick success. I, at the time, I'd never, I hadn't lifted weights in a very long time. I was an athlete in school, but I hadn't done um, real like bodybuilding type movements or real weight training focused type of training. So that was new to me. So my body reacted very quickly. Put on muscle quick, took off fat quick. I went from um, about 200 pounds down to 140 pounds within about about a seven month period. So I went from a very chubby guy to having abs rather you know, relatively quick. Um, after that, I uh, was kind of sticking to it, was planning on like um, maybe doing a men's physique bodybuilding. That was right at the height. This was about 2015, so that was kind of the a year or two after the introduction of men's physique. And I was really interested in doing that. Um, I moved back to New York had some economic, um, you know, financial issues, um, stopped bodybuilding, stopped going to the gym completely. I ended up um, taking a job in sales, was very successful, pretty much the same hard work and dedication and focus that I put into the gym and training, I put into sales. So with that, um, it's a regret of my life that I stopped, you know, going to the gym, stopped, you know, pursuing what I love to do. But I, you know, started doing the car sales and I can't complain that much because I was able to buy a house, I was able to um, save up a decent amount of money. A, a lot of good things came from that. Um, from there, some stuff happened that I don't want to get into quite yet, but at some point I will fill you guys in when everything's uh, taken care of. But um, from there, I doing the sales, I put on a hundred plus pounds. I was went from that 140, 150 kind of range, very much in shape, to 250 and then 265, and that's when my journey restarted back in November of 2019, I believe. Maybe 2000, yeah, 2000, no, to November of 2018. I don't know, I'll double check the calendar. I will get back to you. But um, yeah, from, uh, from November of whatever year till this year, um, what I lost over 100 pounds. I have, um, now I'm actually in a bulking phase, so I'm actually putting on muscle now, so I'm not, you know, paying too much attention to the weight I've lost and trying to put on some, some weight and, you know, gain some, uh, some muscle and up my lifts and whatnot. So that is my journey of how I got to where I am. Um, my kind of qualifications, my background now. Um, so I did not graduate from college, but I am still working on it. Um, my field of study is psychology with um, some minoring in um, sociology and nutrition. And then my certifications right now, I have an ACE, American Council on Exercise Personal Trainer Certificate. I'm about to start my NASM, um, Personal Trainer Studying, and uh, taking the test and you know, getting ready to get that certi certification. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think that's about all my, uh, my qualifications. Aspiring to become a men's physique bodybuilder again, or get close to it again. 
and hopefully maybe even step on stage here within the next I, my, my goal is by not this summer but next summer to definitely step on stage hopefully sooner so stay tuned for that uh, if you have any questions any recommendations any advice for me feel please feel free to reach out leave a comment send an email carrier pigeons smoke signals whatever you got um, that's so that is uh, me in a nutshell peace